Everybody deserves a CarMax car, a.k.a. the cream of the crop, creme de la creme, the bee's knees, the ant's pants, the cherry on top, the icing on the cake. Yeah, a CarMax car. Because every CarMax car is carefully chosen to meet our quality standards. And they're all offered at a fair and upfront price. CarMax, the way it should be. Mute that thing in the middle of that ad plan. So we'll do uh, this. What was that? Got to boot up Crusader Kings three, or else the music will play while we're uh, listening to our intro music. So I apologize. Thanks for tuning in to one hundred five point seven Smooth Jazz. I'm good, Mark. How are you doing, man? My allergies are crippling me today. <laughs> Unfortunately, <clears throat> we will not be doing a history time. Ugh. As I am dealing with moving and a bunch of other things, so I just couldn't get the time to write all my notes and everything down, so. I'm too stressed out, so. We will do history time next time. There we go. Let's go ahead and switch this over. What have we got planned for our kingdom today? Hopefully, unite all of Scotland. No history time today, unfortunately. Just gonna jump right on in. That's okay, OS. That's okay. Ooh, that is piping hot coffee. Or not coffee, uh, tea. Holy balls. Thank you, Bastard. I'm glad you appreciate it, man. Give a shout out to Kobol Yu and Ryo Yu who have uh, crafted both of those, uh, both the sets of concept art that we used for Cathay in that video. I haven't fireball? That's weird. It should be. I'll I'll fix that after the stream. Thank you for telling me though. Okay, so this guy's getting a little war going. The Strathclydean claim on the earldom of Lingolwithshire. Lingothshire. My parents just got their second second vaccine. Yes. I'm going to go home for the first time in a year. I'm so excited. Look here what we got. Wessex is still pretty big. Wessex reunited. So Wessex... Well, no, 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 no. Th this is not. this Because we took out Kent and... Uh, Wucha Wacha Wucha is... Nothing happened yet, man. Dead. We just started up, pretty much. West Francia, though, grew and got more of... Uh, got pretty much all of Cornwall, where it starts, at least. Uh, Yeah, Mark. 
because now their kids can come finally see them. <clears throat> so we still have this portion of land we can try and take up. They're in a war against um, these guys. They're looking to expand a little. They're looking to expand a little bit south. So, um, I think we probably go for East Anglia here. I mean, I could go for a war with Wessex and I could crush them. What are my what are my options for war with them? We can't invade their kingdom because oh, and kingdom is uh, we could do invade kingdom, but <clears throat> <clears throat> we need to get to uh, level four exalted, which we're we're almost there, and that actually would be pretty good. Since Wessex is so scattered around everywhere, uh, a kingdom invasion would be pretty nice, because this one's also a subjugate. So we could subjugate both this and Wessex. So invade Wessex and take all this land. All that land we would take. Um, <clears throat> then it's just a matter of two duchy wars, right? Taking this duchy and this duchy. And we'll have England proper. Oh, uh, we'll 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 be missing a few things over here because of Gwynedd, but that's that's pretty easy. Oh, dude, Sarah, a uh, uh, Subway sandwich? What'd you get? Thank you very much, Garrett. Appreciate it, my dude. Oh, big stretch. Oh. I did not sleep very well last night. My body is a sore body. <clears throat> Edward of Edelsbury, huh? Rants that little bastard out. Time BMT for long, of course. Of course, Garrett, of course. Why would it not be anything else? Yeah, uh, take East Anglia is our plan. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, Wessex could be a really juicy target. What's he trying to do? Oh, he's in a war down there. And... I mean, he's got an okay ally. But I think... I think we start this stream out hot, guys, and we take out Wessex. What do you guys think? Well... What's up, Flintson? Unfortunately, too, I'd have to go down here to Lyon. Which isn't terrible. I mean, I don't have to. Because basically what you're saying is when you do this... Invade Kingdom, change objective, Kingdom of England, confirm. I'm going to take these two, and then it's any other land that I occupy. So then we would go and op occupy these two uh, counties... And that would give us all of what Wessex owns in England. We could then go across and take Brittany, but maybe we don't do that just to kind of stay, save ourselves aggression from, from Brittany actual. West Francia, though, is kind of is going to be up against our border, and they will probably try to give us some pushback, which is unfortunate. And they have quite a substantial military strength across all their allies. And we actually don't have, like, any real good allies. Like, our total strength, though, is 6,000, which we're nowhere near, because we're all beat up from all these, like, constant wars. Uh, this one's going to help out with that, though. We'll do that. The war for the duchy, because then if I do a war for a duchy, uh, Powell, 
then I will only be able to take one duchy. And if I do that, I then have um, a peace treaty I have to deal with. I can't do anything until that peace treaty absolves, which takes like 10 years or some crap, five years, I think is what it is actually. So let's do, can I go on a hunt? Ugh. I'm already on an activity. We'll unpause and see what the activity is. Because we'll call a hunt. Ah, feast words of war. Gain discussion on strategy. At least Ewan showed you that you are able to defend your understanding of the martial lifestyle. He loses 20 opinion of you. <coughs> Why does he lose so much opinion? Because I just gave him all this beautiful land. And that didn't really have much of an effect, so I'm fine with it. Tastefully insulting, as plate after plate of food is brought into the great hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me, and I smile. And I smile. That, my wary, my wary master of horse. That my wary master of horse, Mortimer Rayon, Rian, Ryan, is sensitive to almond is something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome, and I pray you find the food to your liking, especially you. Oh no. His face as I save him from the food is definitely to my liking. Oh, get a weak favor for that. I'll take it. That's my guess. Uh, until next time, my bros. And let's call a hunt. No, Raspiel, we did not do a history time today. Do that. Okay, so they expand a little bit south there. Ah, my queen is pregnant. Damn it. We ride. You need to... Guardians can be assigned for Rachel Ailpin. <laughs> My 500 kids. If all the boar and its with him, suddenly Chieftain and the horses loses its footing and sends him to the ground screaming. It's nothing fatal, but the Chieftain is twisting in pain. <sighs> well, we need to do this. I'm kind of, <clears throat> I think my character would, would basically be like, hey man, we're on a hunt. I'm sorry. Like, I wanted him to be kind of a just fair character, right? Like, <laughs> minus the beheadings, the non-stop beheadings. But he's sadistic, he likes the pain, he likes the pain. opinion. This kind of sounds bad, but we'll just press on. <laughs> Dude, this is getting spicy over here. You're really losing this war, aren't you, buddy? Wales out in victory. A good kill. Well, I, I mean, I could try to get him to stop this war. Because the problem I have with him getting land is he's already a very strong character. Uh, we return home invigorated. Damn, we're so close. So here's my issue here. If he wins this war... So what is this for? This is for the Strathclidian claim... Oh, they're defenders. Well, that's fine. You you guys did. You guys were idiots. Not that stupid war, you bros. Yeah. Yeah, being a servant's a good servant, dude. <clears throat> I'm not going to have infighting in my court. Uh, well, <clears throat> we'll do that. 
We'll do this feast because I'm pretty sure it'll knock me into the thing. Benefit. Okay, uh, we gotta do... Oh, no wonder it's going so fast. It's on three. So where's Rachel? Rachel! You get alliances. Ooh! Guys, I think we create an alliance with France, right? I think it's a pretty strong alliance, and historically speaking, it existed. But that just means we have to fast track our war with Wessex, or else they will try to jump in on that territory. Sorry, guys. <laughs> wee wee. Yes, the Owl Alliance. All right, so let's do. Let's do Prince Charles. And if we do that, hopefully we'll be able to get this going. Oh, we're so close. We need 19 more. We'll be able to get it through this feast then. I find myself in deep conversation uh, with my circumspect tax collector. He inquires about my opinion on trade routes, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. It's a subject that fascinates me as well. Yeah, let's go make a little friendship. Oh, I do also need to find a, an educator for her. Uh, yeah, that's that's good. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze again. Am I gonna sneeze again? <sighs> Betrothed to my son Charles, a powerful ally we have indeed. Dude, King Mathay are the, ba the the blameless of Scotland is. A force to be reckoned with, for sure. Not exalted of men just yet. Among men. Almost there. Almost there. She need to make it into the, through the rest of this feast. Yeah, that little Sweden county will, will judo chop in a bit. Uh-oh. 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 My murder secret? Who did I murder again? Oh, that was an accident. <laughs> that shouldn't be a murder secret. It was an accident. Alright, so we need to actually, like, switch you on over to. Who, 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 does this guy? Alright. It's those feasts, man. You can't trust them. Ugh, we didn't get any what's it called from that. Alright, we need a, a quick way to get... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack this just really quick. We need real quick... Uh, uh, what's it called? Real quick fame or prestige, and this is a quick little way to do it. on this here, do that, raise those armies. We don't need the whole thing, do we? Well, I guess it can hurt. champion was wounded. 
Our glory is widely known. Uh, Darila. Oh, what a lovely child. That's Scott's name, please. Maud, okay. Oh, Catriona. I like that. Okay, so let's do this. We'll combine these armies, and then we will station besiegers. We will reorganize. Do that. You can go over here. And you will be stationed by this guy. What up, Iron God? How you doing, dude? Bald Vixen. Ah, Edwayne gained 250. Ooh, Virtuous Bishop celebrated. Okay, who's I'm... Ch oh, no! No! You're not bad, though. But, guys, look! Fair I'm Chad has died. How'd he die? Just old age. Old age took him. Just old age. <sighs> I'm Chad, you were the best of us. Best of us. Uh, I need my realm. And I also need people that are not rulers. Good enough to be my archbishop. Oh, well, you know what? Point to ask court visit. Done and done on yo. Absent courtiers? Why are they absent? Oh, they're being tutored. Educate a child, please. Duff could use some education, actually. I think Rachel, we'll do Rachel. Rachel's 72 degrees today. Yeah, it's 73 right now. We got a quick little win on that war, too, which is good. <clears throat> 13 4. No one really, no one really stands out here. Morkar, you're ambitious, which sucks. And you're an insane idiot. Do I have... Execute him! <laughs> Is it smart to disband? Yeah, Libra Raider, you're better off just disbanding everyone, actually. Let's just enforce these demands. Because uh, we got to get to the real, the real fight. Hereford here. This is all part of... Yeah, that's dear part of uh, England. And dear part of Mercia, which is good. So, what we'll do is... I will create a vassal here. And give it to Duke Duncan of Mercia. Let's grant... Oh, this has walls here, too. Ofa's Dyke. Ofa's Dyke is a long ditch flanked by a wall of earth that was constructed by the Anglo-Saxon King of Mercia to defend the border towards Wales. The, this raised earthwork offers an advantage to whoever stands on the side of the wall as any attackers have to fight an uphill battle from the ditch. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. I like that. And do I have anyone who is Scots by chance? Ooh, a lot of Scots.
Brian McCullen. Well, I don't want to land you. Adam, the poet of Scotland, dude, you sound like a, you sound amazing. Oh, you're 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 a duke. You're the future duke of like Essex or Wessex for sure. This guy could do though. Grand title here. Well, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna give him actually kind of a rowdy, a rowdy Scotsman. Well, as I say that, I'm I'm relegated to two. <laughs> I'm good, Ian. How are you, dude? Dude, this guy's so huge. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do this guy. He's old. Reduced, good. And then we will give him. I don't know, we'll grant this guy the vassal of this guy. That'll make him happy. And it just goes towards making his de jure. Um, again, we're trying to make that. See this line here? We're trying to make his de jure counties part of his duchy. That's important. East Anglia is a war with who? Petty Kingdom of East Anglia with, ooh, Smeallander. Don't like that. Hmm. Our end game, Josh, is to take over all of England as Scotland. So we'll do this big war here, and this is going to be substantial. Invade the Kingdom of Wessex. They have a pretty powerful alliance. We shall be able to stem the tide. <clears throat> you keep misreading Mercy as America. America. Uh, Mr. Iron said, Sparty, I am thinking of taking the plunge into 40k, and I'm digging Adeptus Mechanicus for my army. What do you think? Honestly, I, f I think Mechanicus is a really badass army. They have a lot of really, really, really cool things. Really cool things. I don't think you can go wrong with Mechanicus. What's up, Ian Bruce? How you doing, man? They have a whole new model range. So that's one thing that's really nice is when you're dealing with an army that's got brand new models, they probably won't get updated for a while, which is, that sounds like bad, but it's really good. Because if you play Orcs, I played Orcs in like 2002 or three, and my Orcs are still the same Orcs that you can get today. Um, I've been playing Space Marines since I was the same age, and now Primaris are in full circulation. But two years ago, pretty much the the it was pretty much the same Space Marines minus a couple of Primaris kits. Um, Eldar have gotten a nice uplift, but still need more. So there are tons of armies that still need a lot of um, love. But the nice thing is Mechanicus is brand new from the ground up, so I would definitely go with it. Um. Ian, I'm really excited about dynamic battlefields, man. That'll be really fun. Like, it'll be great to be actually be able to do a siege fight and all this. Or, uh, I'm sorry, actually be able to do, like, a bridge battle and all this stuff. All right, just drinking some uh, tea real quick. You always try to scroll around the map. <laughs> so we'll invade this kingdom. Commencing debt. You're not wrong, buddy. You're not wrong. Okay, so we can probably win this war on our own. Um, the the we have to get these two counties, but 
For this, we will get, you will seize all titles within Petty King House Realm belonging to Dior to the target title, which is the Kingdom of England. These are the target title locations and all occupied counties outside of it. So if we get these two counties, we'll get it all. Uh, Josh, I don't know off the top of my head, unfortunately, man. So he has got 1,500. Let's see what kind of allies he brings to the fight. And if he brings none, then we're good to go. I mean, he should bring some. He just made this alliance, too. Of East Franconia. Yeah, I'm not really worried about that guy helping me, helping him out. Look how big Lothrongia is, though. Massive. My Scottish kingly war armor. All right, raise the armies. Right. Well, we will need to siege these two, yes, but not all of this. We pretty much just need to get 100%. Right, so he's he's busting to move north. All right. Ran right into him. Our champion, Duke Ewan, wounded Siegert of Wessex. No, Josh, my next one will probably be something that is... Uh, hey, what's up, Talos? It'll probably be something in the Middle East, like Levant, or um, the Far East, like India or Asia. Well, our champion, Edward de Vernon, killed Zhij. Oh, we're down south, all right, Talos. We're crushing these men. We're suing them. Okay, so what we're going to do here, actually, is pause this. I'm going to pursue this army. We're going to combine this, but break off into a new army. Take just the onagers and some levies. Select them. Do... Where are you deployed that you could not lead this army and you to Wessex actual and we pursue Duke Lutbert will no no doubtedly be on his way Where'd he go? Oh, he's right here. Oh, sh I thought that was like... Whoopsies. Have a girl. Got him. Yeah, reforming Bactria is a really cool one. I really like that one a lot. Kent is under siege by Duke Luthbert. Okay. Oh, this guy's getting a little war too. He's already like they got like a little. Oh, that's annoying. Well, it would appear he's winning. Kingdom of East Anglia. Only work there. Whoa! All right, D Duchy of of uh, Mercia. Mercia is trying to get big over there. All right. I don't think they should do that because that is not a small war target. Because this is about to take it over. Oh.
Um, Josh, I have not played it recently. I've just been so busy with trying to move, man. Why? Is there another war? Yep. Yeah. The Wiccan claim on the petty kingdom of Wessex. Well, you and I will have a tussle then soon, it looks like. Almost done with this. Eight days. Done. Okay, and I'll pull out of there quickly. We're destroying uh, the ally. The Cliffs of Dover. Okay, 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 okay. Um, very well, Universe. Whatever. Let's go back to go back to to disrupting them schemes. Ooh, Lawrence. Ah, the lesser son of a greater king. <laughs> You'll, Larry will do. Your name shall be Larry. Banish him? Banish him from my sights. Watch, that's gonna be the kid who I inherit. We have a lot of succession to deal with after we deal with all this. <laughs> but we might actually be able to deal... We might be able to create the Empire still. I mean, we have... Um, oh, I like this one. Serve the crown, natural dread, which is nice. Parthian tactics, which is great. So is uh, envelopment. I have an Ultramare campaign we could do. I mean, my spouse likes me, but that spouse, you know, we'll go the counselor skills. I like that. We'll get, what is Gallant again? Marshall, prowess, monthly person. Nice. Versus strategist, which is. Mmm. I like that too, though. We could go Kingsguard. Do I have enough people to even be champions for Kingsguard, though? Not really, though. Can't invite champions... Or four years. Get some prisoners to do it. There's no one really outstanding though that I've gotten prisoners. Mm. Loyalty and respect, we'll do that. That'll give us more benefit of this stuff. Hey, I thought, I thought this guy was gonna come for these dudes, so. We'll go. Head him off at the pass. Glad I can help you out, Commander. Oh, we off the head of Lord Oswald. There was a commotion among the children today. Shona was attempting to preach among her fellow youngsters and became the target of a small fight. Eva was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Christ and chased away the child. Okay, so she becomes zealous. That's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, 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 we'll go with that versus... She gains brave, she gains calm. I'll go zealous. 
Kind of like that for her. And for a, a spouse for her, we should try and get someone matrilineally. To try and keep her in the bloodline. And not have her get married off. Um, Lance power, anyone? I mean, I could marry again to France, but I think that's a little unnecessary. Moray. What CK3 stuff's coming on the, on the 13th? We'll deal with that after this grand war, this grandiose battle. So we... Oh, we need to go over here. We need to take this from them. The schemer of West Francia. Oh, no. So, oh, no. Okay, all right. That was weird. Oh, that was Aquitaine. We lost Aquitaine as a... Well, we could probably marry into this. Got this one child. Arrange a marriage between him and... This just kind of keeps them at odds. Oh. No, he won't accept that. Okay, never mind. Uh, I mean, I've got, like like I said, I've got this. I got this, like, how old? Yeah, yeah, maybe we do this. This. Uh, I mean, she's not terrible. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, rolling days. That sounds awesome, man. I know, Mark Roberts. I got carved like a cake. I mean, she's a good daughter, but I think, uh, primarily, in my opinion, daughters are really much, pretty much made for alliances in this game. So I think, I, do we go with another? Do we try to keep Aquitaine as an alliance? I mean, West Francia will eat them up. Like, what are they doing? Oh, they're involved in this uh, in this war over here. So, I don't know, guys. Do we keep Frankia or uh, Aquitaine as a as an ally? They'll probably start to pull me into war soon. And if I'm allied with both of them, I think I won't get pulled into either war, which is kind of nice. I, I don't know how how uh, the AI deals with that. It's very interesting little territory. Trans Urania. If you are watching the stream, please make sure you are liking the stream. What's it going to be, bros? Do you guys think we should do another uh, alliance here with uh, Aquitaine? You don't like what? 
I'm glad you like it, Joseph. One sec. Arrange this marriage. Do it with my daughter. Give him a promising ch child. Unfortunately, it can't be matrilineal, but we'll bolster our strength. Who's this? What is this? Oh, they came back here for a little, little tussle. All right, well. Over here. Kent. They grow up so f Oh, brilliant strategist and reckless. Okay. Can we make it in time? Oh, God. Elswith came to me complaining about Dristen bullying her. She has been staying in bed for days to avoid facing. Keep straight lazy. No, 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 no. She must become arbitrary, if anything. Well, she's... I mean, I'm not going to play her. A bully deserves whatever punishment you can imagine. You do not have to face the world. No, no. I, I, this is that's the way my character would go. He would definitely say that. Like, you know how many people's head I've cut, heads I've cut off. Oof, that was close. Okay, so dealt with that. I think this war ended. Nope. Okay, let's go over here and take out Gwent. A great card game. The betrothal has been fulfilled. So they should make some lovely kids. And he will make an amazing... I'll probably land him. I mean, I'd like to... I, making him the Duke of Northumbria isn't bad. Hey, Ice Cream Birdie, let me see what you said. I could make him the, the Duke here. Of Albany. Which isn't a bad idea. But the problem is, there's just a lot of... There's a lot of really scary people around here. More and more of Angus. Like these, it, we talked when we were talking about the history, right? We talked about the old Gaelic lords. Well, these are the old Gaelic lords, and they are super strong. Well, this guy's not so much, but one thousand here, nine hundred here, twenty six hundred here. Like these guys are very beefy, so we don't really want to. Like I could make my son the Duke of of uh, Albany, but I think it's really dangerous because he will only have one bit of land that will only grant him 390 levies. He will get a percentage of the other vassals, but um, so Ice Cream Birdie said, love everything you do even though I'm normally just lurking. Also, what is your favorite campaign so far that you have done? Ooh, it's hard to say. Um, uh, you know. I think one of my favorite campaigns was was the Spain one. 
uh, like reuniting and doing the Reconquista was probably one of my favorites just because it was really going into the history of it was a history I never knew. So that made it really exciting to do the Reconquista and like understanding like all on the loose and how how much of this history intersects. You know, it's like I know a considerable amount of Spanish, so I know that like you know the word for shirt and the uh, word for shirt in um, Arabic, like camisa, are very similar. And to learn like a lot of cuisine, you know, how that crosses over, like al pastor comes from uh, the Moors as in their occupation of Spain. So that was probably really exciting and probably what made this campaign particularly very fun. Um, I really liked the very first one we did with um, Robert Giscard, the uh, the Norman king of southern Italy and how that creates the kingdom of Sicily. Those two were probably my favorite, but I also really liked doing the Kievan Rus campaign we did where we united all the lands over here and created the Kievan Rus empire. I would have liked to, I would like to actually see that though as a decision in the game to make the Kievan Rus rather than us kind of doing a ramshackle. So that one kind of felt a little cheated to me. Doing the little Byzantine empire we did was was fun. Um, but it felt more like managing a lot of politics and that wasn't as enjoyable, but I definitely think it's between both, uh, my Italian campaign and my Spanish campaign. Those are probably my two favorite ones. Gabriel Court with a $5 donation saying Bannerlord should add Indian Kingdom as a faction. That would be interesting. I, it definitely really would, or at least like a, like a heavily Persian empire influenced one. That would be a very interesting campaign actually. Or a very interesting faction. I didn't kill Bowman. You guys killed Bowman. You told me what to do. Oh. I know we can employ both strategies. Let's actually take this army out. Aha, caught him. Are we being raided, really? Get out of here. You can do your little raid. All right, so we need to station besiegers here because we have to start carpet sieging a little bit here. Reorganize. I want to leave enough men to actually siege it, and then we'll come back here to attack this. This should get that guy. This army's free to... The Cumbrians, the good people! I suppose I don't really need to do this anymore, do I? No, we don't need to do this. Scots are superior moral fiber. <laughs> we can actually end that. Yeah, Alpos for sure. I, I for sure agree with you on that. Wait, did we just pick up where the other people left off that siege? We did! That was sick. So we can't end this war yet. Yes, we do have a southern army I don't want to send over there. I mean, Dover's going to get raided, and that's unfortunate. Kent, or Canterbury is a real prize. I'm surprised I didn't do anything there. I'm waiting. Good call, Ian Bruce. Good, good point on that. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? Oh, yeah, they're getting beat back hard. They're getting beat off. Okay, so that war's going. Now I can send this guy over here. Captain Arnaud of Rotier of Valentois. Okay, I'm gonna let this kick through all the way, all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, so let us save this. 
And do I have an OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah, you want some feed pics, bro? Okay, so now that we have this, by enforcing demands, it should unite everything here. Let's take a look. Even though I haven't taken those other portions of Wessex. Good, there we go. Wabam! Yeah, I know, Ian. We had to make sure we got those two pieces on the left side. So Wessex now only exists here. Isn't that something else? Ah, <sighs> what a what a good little war we've just done. <laughs> so Sweden, unfortunately, though, has a larger foothold down here. Um, Mercia got cut up pretty bad. Actually, no, Mercia is, is its own is its land, so they gotta stop complaining. I mean, I could join this war. No, I can't. Not putting a peasant faction. That's stupid. It's a vassal war? Oh, I don't know. He's fine. So, the, we're just going to roll this right into another war. Because I want to take I want to take advantage of this like momentum we've got. And if we don't, it could get pretty hog wild here. So what's going on over here? Are they they're still winning it? Good. They're just pushing their head in the water. We don't have to give anything away just yet either. So I might as well do it all in one fell swoop. And conquer this duchy, and we will have united the majority of England. Right into another war there. My people shan't be too happy with me. That's okay. We're going to summon up right here. Oh, we're getting real close, Ian. And we're going to be able just to blitz this. Look at that. Just completely smash that army out. East Anglia is really getting just... Oof. That's gonna... That's annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. I should have done a war there, too. I mean, I still can. I'm gonna join the war. Well. What that means is... We're going to have this, 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 and this to deal with. That is not uh, all of our lands. And well, the the goal here is to create Britannia. So we're going to create it and we have to unite it. The Empire of Britannia is... Even if we win a majority of the... If we don't create the tell of this episode, we're not done. We are certainly not done. Okay. So where are... Let's combine all these armies. Let's station besiegers. Reorganize that. Oh, she's pregnant again. I'm a little too, I'm a little too active. Y'all, newt. All right, look at that. Ireland should break off after the leader dies. Hopefully, hopefully. Who's this guy? Who's Ronald? Ah! Who's Eleanor? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. We might as well try to take advantage of this guy while we can. He's just got such high learning. Yeah, we can't unfortunately do another multi-pronged war. How big is Sweden? Not that big. Not that big with all of its allies, not even that big. We will crush them.
It's not a good game for me unless my king's having kids. Dude, I have, what, 13 kids right now? Whew, we gotta find some educators for all these little Muppets. And some some spices. Um... Hmm. A lot of characters. Don't want to get into like a bullshit alliance. Come help me against this army of 10,000. Like, no, no. no. <laughs> Level 3 fort. Push on through. Go ahead. Raid away, man. Mormor Lugade's claim on the High Chieftain of Moray. Oof. Were you? Okay. Well, that's going to be spicy. Have people in the dungeon over here? Okay, you definitely come into my court. Welcome. House rest, house rest, house rest, house rest. Okay. Eh, he was okay. Does anyone know genius trait stacks with intelligent and quick? It will not, and I believe one will supersede the other. All right, one second, guys. Let me just talk to my roommate real quick.
sorry guys. <sighs> a lot of things just kind of clicked into place for a moving situation for me, so I had to go talk to my roommate real quick. Well, it's going to be a busy couple days. <laughs> My roommate's been on stream. You guys have seen him in the background when I didn't use uh, green screens. You saw him naked coming out of the bathroom. <laughs> what can men do against such reckless hate? I can't wait for a Lord of the Rings. I do have to move Tommy Gids. Tommy Gids! By the end of the month. So this is like... Last five days. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of, you, you might, you probably didn't even see him, you know? he was like, he's quick, like a shadow. Eh, I mean, I, so, I moved out of my parents' house for college when I was 18, and ever since then, I have moved every year to two years. I've never stayed in one place for more than two years since then, and I'm 33 now, so, it's definitely quite the journey. Oh, I didn't put the guy here? No wonder that took forever. I was like, I'm going to take him absurdly long. Level 4? No. Level 3? Level 2. We'll go for level 2 to, to tip this over. Prisoners taken in siege. Petty King. Oswald's Ward. Wolfgar. No, no, no. Wolfgar, you don't deserve to be in the dungeon. House arrest. Who are you, anyway? The Liege of... Oh. Who's your father? Your parents? Do I... Your parents, isn't, I don't have her, do I? No, the jailer is that guy. <laughs> that did make you sound a little weird, but and I don't have a clip. <laughs> Look at them, they're like off the shore, like can't do anything. <gasps> oh, well. That's not, I'm not too upset about that. I'm not too upset about that. I, I don't like that she's riddled with disease, but in all honesty, she was better than my Chancellor. So, I can't necessarily be upset about that. I mean, of all the things to happen, that's not a bad one. As I wait outside the birthing chamber, each minute feels like a lifetime. Carla's screams have ceased with no infant's cry. With no infant's cry to replace it? Replacing it? To replace it? Something is wrong. I can feel it in my bones. The door opens. The midwife's wretched expression confirms all my fears. I am so very sorry, my lord. Lady Carly. Lady Carla. Her daughter. They are both in heaven now. Which one was this? Was my this was my genius wife? Oh, I just got I just got this bitch now. <laughs> ah! Saint Breed, Saint Breed, Saint Brid, Saint Brad. What have I done to deserve this? Damn, that's a double whammy, man. Double whammy. Well, you know, I can take that uh, new wife that we just kind of got access to. This lady right here, my cupbearer. Isabel right here. The Welsh courtier. Trusting. Do, do I need to really do this, though? Let's be honest here. Um... Constantine is looking strong, dude. Constantine is looking girthed. Uh, Elspeth, great. Where's Piglet? Piglet, also, look at Piggy. Piggy Pigs is crushing the scene right now. In fact, let's, let's super breed. Do this by age. Okay, so if he's 11, we need to go to 11 or lower. 
I don't really care about that, but that gets us beautiful. Yeah, I think go with a beautiful one, right? Croatians. I could keep it in the family and get intelligent going here. Kakalola! What's up? Piglet, no! Well, he's he probably inherited that from the guy that I had tutor him. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Yes, yeah, leprosy. Good call, Tommy Gid. Good call, Tommy Gid. Yeah, we'll do this. Can I educate? Can't. My wards and my daughters. I might swap Piglet over to the. Oh, that's Shy. I'd. I'll take Paranoid over Shy any day. Hello from Belgium. What's up, Lawrence? Any mods that I. So I have a mod list right now. You can take a look at in the description. That's probably the mod, the chief mod list I used. I'm probably. I'm very excited about uh, the future mods coming to the game, though. Like I really want to play a Game of Thrones and or a. Um, Tolura, come on, man. Or a... Uh, oh, it pushed this guy over to, to that location. Damn it. Um, Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings. I really want to play Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Paranoid and Shy. No thanks, Outpost. That'd be, that'd be miserable. Guys, I have to pee. So bad. Give me two seconds. I have been drinking so much water. One second. I fade from reality. Off into the nether. Ian, you're 14 years old? Damn, dude, I didn't know that. Pretty mature for your age. Oh, shit. I, when I was uh, growing up, I used to play a lot of online role-playing games. I, play, Ult I played Ultima Online when I was in 4th grade, 5th grade. And I've got two older brothers, so there there is a maturing factor attached to having older siblings, especially older brothers where your oldest one is eight years older than you. Um, but my uh, I, when I would play online, I, the way I learn things is by watching. Like I just kind of watch, and then I absorb it, and then I I mimic it, and then I. Once I understand it, I break it. Like, I just like to... That's why I like making guides, because I play the games, and I'm like, okay, I get it. I'm going to look here. Okay, so this says this. This says this. Okay, let me apply this to over to this. And, like, that's how I learn these things. Um, it's just kind of the way my brain works. So, 
I would watch the way people talk in game and I'm like, okay, so this is, this is the way I must have to talk. Uh, back when you said like the different ways of typing LOL meant more, you know, <laughs> like now I feel like typing LOL is like a punctuation. Like you use like a period at the end of a sentence, like, Hey man, do you want to get food or not? LOL. It's like, you're not really laughing out loud. You're just trying to be kind of chill about it. Um, like just watching the way people talk. And I like back then, like if I had, if I made a typo, I'd type in E E E R R R like, er, I mean this, like all this stuff. So I would just watch people. And people are like, oh, how old are you? I'm like, oh, I'm 28. I'm 28. And I was like, definitely like fucking 11, what, nine, whatever the th- fourth, fifth grade is. And I just remember playing that for so long. I remember t- telling someone that I was playing with, like, I actually like, I'm, I'm like 11 years old. And the guy's like, holy crap, I never would have guessed that. Like, and it's, it's not because I am actually mature. I'm a giant man child. But it was just like, oh, I'll just mimic the way that these people speak. That'll, that'll get me by. <laughs> Thomas Gideon, I still have my UO second age disc at home. My parents' house. Okay, uh, I mean, this guy's a way better steward. And he's jacked, like to the gills jacked. But I think we just need to complete this war. That should be the, the chief concern of, of my... Okay, Croatia. Did I, you're all married, good. You have nothing. Elspeth, come on. There's no real good alliances we could do. I mean, I could do a, an internal alliance, which isn't a bad idea. Aramon, the knight of Captain Glause of Redshanks. So does any, uh, Mandead, if you're still here, you probably know this. What's the etymology behind Edward Longshanks? Is it a reference to long hair? I don't really know. I know a lot about the history, but I really don't know much about the individual. I know about him and, and the Crusades and all this action. Oh! Yeah, my daughter's brave. I'm definitely not going to push myself into a stress event. In fact, I can't do any of this. Oh my. Captured Gewehr, the Marshal of Duchess Dika of Westfallen. Shanks being legs. Oh, his legs were tall. Ah. It has happened. We have united the kingdom of England. Dude, 6'2", though, even now, 6'2", is a pretty sizable height. The average person is what, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, Enforce, oh, you know what, let's do this. We don't have any, yeah, we don't have any war score affecting prisoners. So let's take a look at our prisoners list. Because we got this one. I can't even do any good ransom out of him. Yeah, he's just a guy. So we'll negotiate your release and get a vow or uh, get a weak hook. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? We have so many prisoners. She's a good physician, but I have a pretty decent physician. Anglo Saxon and Catholic. Executor. I just mean uh, average world height. Uh, height across all people in the in the, in the world is like five eight five nine. Oh, for women it is five four. This is in the U.S. So 
So 5'6 is the average height across the entire world. I do too, DC, but the way I'm kind of looking at it is like, this character is kind of opportunistic, right? He's brave, he's he's ambitious. Um, so he would kind of look at these characters and go, what do you offer me? Nothing, well, then you're dead. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spare the Anglo-Saxons and the, and the Christians for my realm. I would focus on building the Scots and insular Christianity. So he would look at people who have worth with a better light or people that are part of the Scot or insular Christianity um, faiths and religions. Uh, or, I'm sorry, uh, uh, cultures and religions. That's the kind of role I've, I've, I've given to him. And it actually kind of works really well. I guess Kingsguard. I just don't want to get all those random dudes. Yeah, let's push. I'm going to push these so I can get like all th like these at the same time, kind of. Strategist and Gallant. We need to reduce that. Okay, so let's go back to prisoners. Aaron Brecht. You don't really offer me much. You are ransomable though, so that is worth that is worthwhile to me. Unless you are ransomed. Javert. I'm sure it's actually pronounced something differently. But you could be. Yeah, you'll, if you'll convert, you'll be a, a decent enough warrior. Gila Patrick. Patrick? You're really nothing. You are insular. Get the hook and go. Aramon. Oh! Crazy. He's a lunatic. He's possessed. Just go. Be gone. Get out of here. Wolfgar Hex Tildeson. Good vassal, insular and Gaelic. He's cynical, so he'll convert. And a decent enough. He's callous and he's gluttony. Sure. Convert. Bolster my court. This guy I've already dealt with. Boson. Uh, a French Catholic, huh? And you're deceitful and you're craven. Ooh, you could be. Boring band of aberrant. Get a weak hook on you. Be about your business. Convert. I, I, requ I request that. Doth Pelagius the Wise. Hello, tiny child. Oswald. Your, your father tis dead. You're in shambles. But you've got money. And I will take your ransom. From a child. I've ransomed a child to himself. Oh. No. Petty King of a Wolf. A short changer. Well, we're already at a negative 100. What's another 100? Another 25. Uh, I yeah, this guy needs to. This guy is. This guy is. is he's ridden with the great pox. Me. 
Mildreth of Wessex. Um, Ransom. Ooh, for 100 I definitely will. Dathkus. This guy could be interesting. Who's his liege? Oh. Get a weak hook and send you about your ways. Daffle. Irish. A weak hook and send you about your ways. And then Morkar here. He actually could be a decent. Well, he's ambitious. That could be pretty bit. That could be a big issue, but he's also forgiving, which helps. Hmm. I'll just, I'll have him in the back pocket. That's everyone. But all those kind of kick through. It's not the story the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> this poor little kid, dude, like, just go. You know what? Go, little guy. And now, it is done. Look at that. Who's my, who becomes my vassal? Uh, those are some crappy vassals. Alright, so a new war. So who is this? Where is this? I am a huge Star Wars fan. Um, I used to be able to do a better Yoda, but it actually kind of like it's it's a trickier one. Yes, goalie, thirty-one gigabytes. I compete in Olympic lifting. Mm. Okay, so where's this war? Oh, it's all the way up here. Get out of here with your bullshit. So look at that. Look how look at what we've done. Look at Scotland, man. It's this girthy meat torpedo throughout the center of England. This needs to stop. Is this not concluded yet? So we have a lot of land we have to solidify. The first king of Britain? Yeah, it's King Arthur. Duh. Shona? Didn't have a, she doesn't have a... Oh, that's right! Alright, yeah, her, him. We need to do that. Because she lost a guardian. And we need to lower our... We can't go on a pilgrimage just yet. Yeah, so there's a really cool way to watch Star Wars called the Machete Order. In which case you watch episode, you watch New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, then you stop and jump to episode two, Clone Wars, and then um, um, Revenge of the Sith, and then complete it all with Return of the Jedi. And if you do it in that fashion, if for someone who's never seen it, it... It, cre it, it maintains the, oh my god, Darth Vader is Anakin? So it maintains that reveal, 
and you get the original or the uh, the prequel trilogy as a kind of flashback sequence in between um, five and six, and then it all culminates with Return of the Jedi. Don't watch the three new ones. Oh, you could watch actually. You could watch the Force Awakens. That's not bad. Okay, so how far away are we? Ooh, seven more. We do need. So the real kicker is, is that we need to make. You know, making the kingdom of Ireland is probably a better idea. Oh, dude, look at that. These guys are in shambles. We could take all this right now. Follow up war. <laughs> Rise of Skywalker's not bad. It's just that uh, he had to do so much after Rain Johnson took a steaming crap on everything. The, the problem. We could conquer Gwynedd. The problem with Gwynedd. Oh, we're already at war. Our armies are raised. The problem with uh, The Last Jedi is that Rain Johnson said I want to I want to throw upheaval into the Star Wars formula which was a completely like like why 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 would you want to do that if you want to do that don't do it with an uh, an episode of the uh the the saga do it with its own offshoot throw uh, throw up the uh or throw off the the what's it called there instead he tried to make really strong female characters, which is a totally fine by me. But if you're going to make strong female characters, don't make it so they get bailed out by male characters by the end of the movie. You just basically try to make these really strong female characters that just fucking shield out and had to get bailed out by, oh, hot fly boys like you. Like, okay, that was a stupid line. And then that hot fly boy ended up bailing her ass out. Like, that was bad. That was bad writing. Like, if you want to take a note on how to make a good female character, you take a look at Star Trek Voyager, or any of the Star Trek series, and those female characters, they're not like the prototypical female leads, right? They're very strong characters. They have got a really great spectrum of strengths and weaknesses, just like any other character should have. And they rely on the other characters' strengths and weaknesses to get by. That's what makes Star Trek's writing on all the episodic shows way better than a lot of Star Wars writings. Writing. Yeah, and don't don't make Star Wars Las Vegas because you once got a hand job from a, from a shitty hooker uh, in in Vegas and you wanted to put it in Star Wars. Like, go fuck off with that. Like that that was completely unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, Corey, you're right. TLJ is fine if you cut out the casino storyline. That is really the roughest part. At the very beginning of The Last Jedi, I was able to ignore the whole, like, um, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can, can you hear me now? I, I did not like that. I didn't like that. But that whole opening sequence was really strong. And I was like, this is going to be amazing. And then Leia blew up and they didn't kill her off. And I was like, okay, I... My suspension of disbelief has not been suspended nor disbelieved. <laughs> Again, I, I'm not like a like a neckbeardy <clears throat> Star Wars fan. I'm just saying, if you want to make, if you want to really do all these things you want to do, then do them right. Don't just be an asshole. I tried to watch it again and fast forward to the parts I didn't like and every and like it, it's like did, did a did a teenager that works at Starbucks writing Harry Potter fanfic write this movie because that's what it feels like okay back to the back to the game <laughs> okay so she's helping me in this war against this guy I don't care it's not gonna be new oh I don't have to I don't want to have to wait for her to come down to me. Their paltry army of shit. It's 
So let's combine these two. And we will <clears throat> do this. <clears throat> so we'll do that, 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 that. This, this, this. 3,400. Plus all of my knights. You get me, what's up, dude? Always good to hear from you, man. Oops, that's levies. Sigbjorn is badass, man. Okay, select. We can disband this army. That's fine. There we go. We don't need a huge army for this, and that'll help recoup some of our losses and everything. I agree with you, Ian. I totally agree with you. I mean, that flashback sequence in... in what's it called? Was, was perfect, where they show Leia learning from Luke. That's all you needed to do. Okay, so we need, we're above our domain limit, so let's deal with that too. Uh, Duff McAlpin, give you a kid, or a what? Lancaster, that could be good. Duff's not amazing too, so I'm not too worried about it. Go on, Duff, learn from the Duke. So our, my vassals are all pretty pissed off. So let's fix these vassals. Um, my son, this guy, Constantine, is definitely going to get some land here. Um, let's take a look at succession to discern, determine how this is going to go. So a lot of these lands are going down here. Um... I, let's let's do this. Save this game. I want to create the Kingdom of England, and I want to see if it gets Tanistry because I'm Scott. I don't think it will, but Tanistry did. It was a part of Scottish society until they were feudalized. Remember, we talked about how Tanistry was the way things went until like the fucking twelve hundreds. So let's do... I, I just want to see how that works real quick. So let's go to here. Oh, let's just go to the kingdom titles and create the kingdom title. Create this title. Grant it to Constantine. Oh, we wanted to see if that gets Tanistry first. Unpause. Do this. Okay, so this did not get Tanistry. We can add the Tanistry elective for 1500, which is not a bad idea. What is this? What's this? And I would probably give where is the where is the this is supposed to be in London, right? Yeah, so I would probably give my son Colchester. Oh, Middlesex is little bitch. So I'd probably give my son Wessex. Yeah, I'd give him all of Wessex and make him the Duke and King of England. Um, I think I have to add Tanistry to it first, though. Now, how did this shake out with succession? Okay, so... Because he is my direct son, he will be the king of the king of England regardless. He will get the Duchy of Albany and the the High Chieftain of Lothian.
Does that seem like a good progression here, guys? Do we make my son? And then I can make Piglet the Duke of Albany. That might be a good call there. Generous and compassionate and patient. I think that's probably the good call. Yeah, Thomas, I think a lot of people don't. I think a lot, I'm actually surprised that a lot of people actually enjoy Last Jedi and don't like Rise of the Skywalker. Let's so we have to assign Tanistry first. So let's do that. Add law, Tanistry elective. Oh, okay. can't do that yet. Okay, good. This guy's here. Let's just smash him out. Perfect. A secret exposed. Your vassal. Okay. So put her in. Oh! Ransom her off. So they will land there. No, come back. Yes. Perfect. White piece this one away. We don't need to get to enforce. Oh, they will. What do you mean, base reluctance? Get out of here. Cool. Good. So disband that. What's going on over here? Don't like that. Blue War for the cheapness of Difflin. Okay, well that's just Difflin. But we can kind of counterman. Ooh, that's good. So this means Irish Insular Uprising. That's real solid. And that means we can just take this weakened force out. So what we will do here is add law, Tanistry elective. Why? Ugh. I thought this was part of the Goidilic Western Germanic group? That doesn't make any sense. It would be part of this group because the Scots were based here and the Scots were part of the Picti. Where's the Pictish? Pictish part, it, would be, it would be either Berthonic or Goidelic. That doesn't make any sense. They should not be Western Germanic. I mean, you could make the argument that all of this would be Pictish, Picti, Cumbrian. Well, Cumbrian's part of Birthonic, which is supposed to Birthonic is supposed to be um, the the what's it called? Romano Britain culture group. So basically, the result, the ruling people that left that were left after the Romans left, but they're all Celts. This is all supposed to be Celtic. Uh, we talked about that. So the Gaelic group would technically be part of a Western... Uh, like, I know it's part of its own, its own Goidelic group, but they should be a part of... It should Scott should be part of the Goidelic group with the Pictish. Well, Picts I wouldn't see as Berthonic. I would see as I would see Cumbrians and Welf as Berthonic, as well as the Cornish and the Britons. But the Picts were only in the north. So that kind of sucks. Anglo-Saxon, though, would definitely be West Germanic because they are West Germanic. Well, let's just kind of see how this goes. The Scots not, weren't necessarily Anglo-Saxon, though, were they? Because they were part... They were The Scotty were a tribe in the lands of the Picts before the Anglo-Saxons even arrived. They were actually part of uh, Dalrida. So, I would see them as more Goidelic, or I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize, than I would see them as Western, as Western um, Germanic. But I'm sure someone knows far more than me, and that was the research that was made to make that decision, so I shan't argue with it. Yeah, Scots were part of the Dalrida. 
Okay, so let's do this. We're going to grant... Where's my son? Grant titles. So we're going to grant... What do you mean? He's going to inherit Hampshire. No one... Oh, he's going to inherit that. So if I give him then, I got to give him Wareham. Let me see. How I well, I'm just trying to navigate around this. <clears throat> I can't give him any of this because it's supposed to go in succession. Let me see. Uh, okay. So Wessex is right there. Grant to my son. Grant that. Now this son, I want to grant a title. I have to create the title first. Okay, so... Usurp from you, you big old idiot. Grant it to... No. What? Mmm, that's going to constantly... Okay, we'll make him that. I know the I don't want to do this right yet. I'm trying to I'm trying to see something. Oh no, we don't want to do that either. Okay, so we're gonna reload. Because I I wanted to see essentially how we could kind of break up everything, but it looks like we can't because there's too many kids that are getting these counties in southern England. So And the problem, the reason this is happening is because I have these two duchies and I've created a third duchy and by confederate partition, that third duchy title is passing on to Piglet through confederate partition. So the only way around this would be to make a Duke of Albany not in my family. So I could give it to this guy, to this guy this guy or this guy and this will further empower him which is kind of scary to be honest so Corey are you asking me you said if you weren't no I would never murder Piglet so if you weren't streaming and had nothing else going on how many straight hours would you put into this game in a day are you saying I still like I'm not a YouTuber anthropomorphic animals in a medieval setting because if I'm not a YouTuber that would greatly affect things because the majority of my time is spent working or researching uh, content if I'm not a YouTuber um, probably about if we're talking about a weekday probably four or five hours this is Saturday, like four or five hours, probably. I mean, I, I game on the weekends. I've tried not to work on weekends anymore. Um, so that would mean that probably, four, like I said, four or five hours on weekends. I just can't really play like I used to. Although, like, when the pandemic started and we were all in lockdown, I was playing the hell out of Bannerlord because I had nothing else to do and I was it, it kind of helped stabilize my brain a little bit. So I was up until 3 or 4 in the morning playing. When this first came out, I was playing a lot on my own. I think when I'm really excited, I play a lot on my own. Otherwise, I play with friends. Okay, so we have to decide how these lands get divvied up. And I think, like I said, the right thing to do... The succession is going to make things really messy. And that's intended, right? It's supposed to be this way. So you just got to kind of deal with it. So this Hampshire and Somerset 
are both spoken for by Piglet. So maybe then Piglet is the Duke of Wessex. Um, Colchester and White are spoken for. You know what's really annoying is that the way the Confederate partition works like this, it should just... It should go by, it should go by, uh, cause it's supposed to go by chronological order of when you acquire the land. So, and also like relative size and importance. So what I think it should do though, is look at it on the duchy level first. Okay. We're going to give Piglet these two duchies or these two counties. Then these guys, these two counties in the same duchy, like they've split me up and that's kind of annoying. So Duff is going to get... Those two, Gloucester and then Clarion goes here. Okay, so that leaves Wareham. Uh, Luca, it's just because I'm busier than I than I've been in the past. And then succession-wise, he's going to get Kingdom of England title, which we have, which we've created. Chieftain of Albany. A Chieftain of Lothian. St. Johnston. I think if I give St. Johnston away to another vassal, like if I give it to this guy, or if I give it to this guy, or this dude... Let me see, you're 42, you're 37, and you're 37. Their, their poor opinion of me will change the, the second I give away all this stuff, so I'm not too worried about that. And I think actually if I... I think he's the right one. We did. We have... Uh, oh, we didn't? Why does it say that it, this is going to him, though? Oh, because that's right. We're in Confederate partition, so it's going to create the Kingdom of England. Good call, Tom. Thank you. So I think if we do this, let me let me try let me experiment here. So we'll grant him titles. Well, he's actually got two already. I think we'll split apart. I just want them to be like this guy's got two. This guy's got two. Is this just one? That's just one? Dunkled. Well, we'll give it to Dreisten, I think. Better character. So if I do this and this... This should... Okay, so that'll happen. And if I create this title no it, it'll make piglet the duke and I actually kind of like that the piglet is the duke down here Because I can't... I don't think I can do... Yeah, I can't. I can't give him this because it goes to Piglet. Alright, Mark. Have a good one, man. So here's the question then. Okay, so let's load again. Let's try giving... So we'll do this. This might work. So if I do, well, it's because, it's because we can create the kingdom of England, it's going to create it regardless. So we don't get a choice, right? And when it does create this kingdom by partition, it is, excuse me, it is going to go to Constantine. Constantine is the oldest son. He's in charge of it all. Constantine will then get the capital, which is Lothian, and then a duchy, which is Albany. If I give away Albany, I, I'm trying to organize this. So if I if I grant him Wareham, this might work. 
I'm gonna grant him Wareham. Do this. Do that. Serp. Grant to... No, okay. Damn, I thought I could grant this to Constantine. No, I thought that, I thought that would work. I thought that the... So what it's doing, what's happening here is... <clears throat> it's giving... So if I had not landed him in Dorset, it's giving Piglet the entire... Duchy of Wessex, which is actually pretty cool. Let's load again. Again, we're just kind of... We're kind of just banging our way through this and seeing how we can get this to work. And I, I'm doing it actively rather than talking it through with you guys so you can see the results of what I'm doing. Um, if it's boring, I apologize. I'm just trying to help out with anyone who struggles with succession because this is a huge amount of succession. And we actually won't need to worry about it much once we get the emperor. And we're what? We're seven away from that. Seven duchies or seven counties away, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I could just. Do you have any allies? Pitiful man. You haven't gobble that up. <clears throat> so. Yeah, because of my sons, it's being it's kind of tricky to give these away. I think if I give them away to people, it'll be different. It, it doesn't like I think. OK, so uh, we know Winchester is going to a son. So if I grant that to this guy. OK, so that works. So I can do that. Let me take this pen real quick to pee real quick, and we'll determine how to do this.
Yeah, I'm excited to play more Kingdom Come. You can get a full suit of armor if you win four tournaments. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Let's... Damn it, guys. My, my back is messed up. Okay. Lowering the desk. Welcome to the sitting down command station. How do I look? Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. Oh, man. So is Kingdom Come low fantasy or is it historical? So let's decide how to do this. Yeah, just gently raise, like, mm. okay, okay, okay. So. Yeah, I usually am always standing when I stream. It's, it's better for your energy, I feel like. You know, you can flow better. <clears throat> Super 6-4, what is that from? From Black Hawk Down? You don't sound Scottish, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Let's figure out how to divvy up this land. We have to give out a... Do you guys want me to play Stronghold Warlords? I just got an email about them saying, hey, you want a key? I'm like, oh, maybe. Yeah, Blackhawk Down, that's for sure. Super 6-4, uh, there's a lot of smoke down there. I cannot get eyes on the crash site. Lee, stop. I'm not sure, Adson. Okay, so we have to, let's take a look at the counties. County, Rochester. Who has this? This guy. This guy, we maybe want to evoke a title. Command conversion. Damn, I thought that doesn't that give me like the ability to go punch into him? It's the domain limit is what's really hurting me here. But he's ambitious, and that's kind of scary. And I can't give. I could. I could give Wareham to my son. Thank you, Kotal. Appreciate that, man. One year old from Big Daddy Kotal. I could give Wareham to my son, but I see I can't give him the duchy of uh Wessex. I could give him Albany, but I'm I'm a little afraid to give him Albany. Thank you for the donation. Let's try. He'll get all those vassals.
What's up, Ugly Tuco? How you doing, man? So he's going to get Bath, or Somerset, and Hampshire. So Piglet, I think, is the future Duke of Wessex. Um, let's give this to another guy. Not a ruler. Adult. Good opinion of me. I, I kind of want to give it... He'll stop becoming my court champion, which sucks. Oh, no, he still can. Yeah, we'll grant him that. We'll grant him that. And he's Anglo-Saxon, too. We'll give him Dorset. <clears throat> so, what that does is it we'll have a, va a vassal that we can transfer to my son when he assumes. And we'll give... Karisbrook, I think. Because Karisbrook's going to another son. Essex is controlled by who? Okay. But we can give Essex away to another person, too. Give this away. Any Welshman? I do have a Welshman. Ah, this guy's actually pretty good. Uh, well, we won't give him. You know what? I'll have you actually take Gwent as well. Those so Gwent. Gwent is part of that duchy. Good. Okay, so grant you this. And Gwent. Good. Got four more to give away. One, two, three, four. These four right here. Oh, Wexford, huh? Character two. Okay, let's give it that to. And I can create the title here and give it to one of them if I so wish, but they'll probably create it on their own now. More likely, it'll be this guy. <clears throat> I would like to I would like to maintain Winchester and give it to uh my son when he's when Piglet when he's of age. Piglet's gonna get Bath and Winchester. So how does that shake out with session now that I've done what I've done? Yeah, it greatly reduces what they get, which is good. So I think we give what do you guys think about making my son here the Duke of Albany? He'll be alone, but I think that once I... Yeah, see, everyone's starting to like me again. I still have four, three more to give away. <clears throat> this will be one of them, which will be help, help, helpful. 
So I think we'll make my son the Duke of Albany. He'll be landed. He'll be able to produce kids <clears throat> a little bit easier. Um, he can kind of go out on his own journeys, which is a little scary. But hopefully he won't. And I can use stuff to end Vassal Wars. No, the piglet's going to get uh, Wessex, because piglet gets it through succession. See? He'll get... Oh. So I get Winchester right now. He'll get... Harrisbrook, he'll get Somerset, he'll get Gloucester, and that's kind of fine. We can do, yeah, let's do that to my son and the High Chieftain. And these guys all still have just so much land, but they'll like me more because they're not wondering what's going on. One point five ten, really, Flesson? That kind of sucks. Piglet has is a, a gentleman who has donated quite a bit. Oh, yeah, Winchester, White, Somerset, and Gloucester. Um, I could. What are you getting, pigs? Okay, good. How old are you? You're 11, so you'll you'll get there soon. We still need to give away two more. And give Gloucester away to someone. And give Gloucester to this guy and have them duke it out. Gonna break you. Can I imprison you? No, but I can imprison you. This might be worth it. We could imprison her and then put a vassal in charge of both of these counties. Mmm. Well, Albany has kind of become my Aquitaine, right? Like, this character, Mathair, was the Duke of Albany before he became King of Scotland. And soon to be Emperor of Britannia. Well, let's do this for now. The Gloucester. Granted to a gentleman. Me. Wayne might be pretty good here. I'll have him convert. Yeah, 100%. Albany is the Prince of Wales, basically, now. The the Prince of... It's the Prince of Albany with the Kingdom, the kingdom of Scotland. What's going on over here? They're winning, so let them do their thing, I suppose. He created he created this dukedom, or I, th no, I think we made it. We made it. We made it.
So I think... Where'd he go? I, I did a custom ruler campaign. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm texting back and forth with my parents because they got their vaccine. So I'm like, you guys okay? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? You feeling alright? You feeling alright? You feeling alright? You feeling alright? <laughs> The ill ruler. Why do you not like me? I sway you now, all right. Here's a paltry gift. Like me. Oh, that's right, I know. Demand my convert. Well yeah, I did, dude. And you converted. Okay, so... I think we'll just give Bath away to one other person, we'll be good. city of Hamburg. That's pretty awesome. So we could try and put an Anglo-Saxon here. That would kind of stabilize things, so I think we'll do that. Anglo-Saxon. Good opinion of me. Uh, plenty of insular ones, too, which is nice. He's generous and lazy. So Oswald might be a good one. No one else, everyone's got deceitful or, or lustful. Yeah, we'll go with this guy. Grant him some reset. Perfect. Now, what does that do to my session? Nice, we're all set. Good. So, we can now all of our vassals should be in good opinion of me. Yeah, 100, 100, 100. Okay, you do not like me at all. Why is this? Want a seat on the council? Do you deserve a seat on the council? Well, you kind of do. You're pretty good. Um, high tribal authority. Screw off. Believe the entity is astray. Well, because they want me to have medals. I could, I could create the Kingdom of England title because you can hold multiple in king titles. And that actually might be a good idea. I need to create it anyway. So maybe we create that now. What do you guys think? I can I can usurp Essex and give it over here. We'll make these guys like me a little bit more. The Duke of Buckingham? You know him? Actually, making this guy... This guy's not a bad duke. And he's cynical. But maybe we do that, too. It, um, Mich Mikhail, it will split up, but if we if we create the empire, it's going to be fine. Let's usurp this, too. Well, actually, let's create the title first. Let me save. We're going to find that out. Uh, DC, it will not because Scotland is under uh, Tanistry. So Scotland will go to whoever is elected. I'm not sure if I like that or not. He's a really strong vassal. That alliance. So forget the King of England. shouldn't affect any vassal. 
Well, not him, maybe. Offensive Wars. Foreign Culture Group. Yeah, High Travel Authority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, that should also affect this. Uh, that's... Yeah, he wants to be the king of Norway. Oxford. Which... <clears throat> Northumbria, Northumbria. Yeah, I should create the Duchy of Northumbria though too. And let's let's usurp East or Essex here and give it to Buckingham. Yeah, and that puts him in a real good spot. Duke of Nukem. <laughs> this one is kind of a an interesting one because I think I should imprison her. Five percent chance to learn your secret. That that could help. <clears throat> yeah, we'll work on imprisoning her, and once we do, we'll create the ducal title here. Unless he does it, I mean, he's got a chance of doing it. <clears throat> and we'll give Berkshire Berkshire to Gloucester. Okay, here we go. Marvelous news. <clears throat> Uh-oh, you already in a war? Okay, he just put on a cool helmet. So where is this little guy going? Going over there. <clears throat> Wait for this to turn white. There we go. Or gray, I guess. Stricker, no! Well, that frees up my son to now be on the council. A long line of warrior kings. Okay, well, let's just get this white piece going. I don't really want to deal with this war. This war. Um, and if this rebellion completes itself, it'll be a very easy target, which is kind of exciting. Ooh, things are getting crazy over here. Okay. You're actually a pretty good vassal, so I will convert you. Siegfried here. Also not a bad vassal. All right, the next time we will try to name Arthur if we can. Oh, Master of Horse. Dude, we lost a lot of people right there. So this can go to Earl Cobb of the Uninvolved. Sigbjorn is, is honestly like the best warrior I've got. Yeah, 39. This guy is a berserker. Let's marry him too. Well, at 50, 51. Arena? Hmm? Hmm? Your daughter. Your own fled? I just do that. Super young, super old. Might make a might make some good kids. Will he, will he do this? Oh. We'll accept. He'll be converted. I 
I, the Pendragon title is sick. Alright, that war is ended. What's going on? Liberty War, huh? Well, we'll see how that shakes out. We still need to take Upland, or our territory back from Upland. Sweden is in shambles over there. That's not done with. Oh, they, you went from winning to losing. Uh oh, Duke Ewan, I'm sorry, man. They're probably sieging Desmond down here. I mean, I could do an invade war, like invade here, subjugate. That gives me Ireland, which is another king title. We need six more land. Does this guy have any? Oh, dude, we should just gobble this up. those demands. Open and shut case, Johnson. I'm actually going to empower this guy more. I, I think he's going to make for a good a good uh, duke. And we can actually create that title too and make him a duke of that land. This guy... Yeah, that, that I think we do. Change the mono. That's our motto. I respect. I don't even know what to change that motto to. Wait, I have the prisoner still. Um. Ivor. I mean, he can kind of. You can go the other way. I suppose. Got really no qualms with this person. With the coming of age, my two Vision of Elspeth is at an end. I truly understand its uses. She gets intricate web weaver. So tier three, not bad, not bad at all. Raoul lover secret. Okay, that's not gonna do. Where's he going? I wonder. County of Ravensburg. The, the unfortunate thing about being feudal is that you, you kind of get pulled into these like really crap wars. <sighs> or my, all these guys get in these, these stupid wars. How far off we from? Oh, we're, we're pretty far off. We don't have a a high level of learning to really pull this off. Yeah, we need to still get pretty far into this. What's my wife's learning? Isn't she a genius? So this will take 11 years with her doing that. It'll take 10 years. It's really only a year game. 
Scotland forever as as the as the motto. I'm waiting for more of this to happen, but and part of me doesn't want to get another. Day. As I make my way to the stable, I am greeted by the happy heights, nays of Yam, uh, Lamre. She seems eager to stretch her legs in the beautiful weather, and I can do nothing but agree. Back to training. The day is too fine to be appreciated properly. To not be appreciated. We shall do that, because we need to lower our stress, I just remembered. When it would probably be the right call if we did a war. Mercia should be able to do its own wars. Oh, the county of Vladimir, huh? Edie, what's up? We could push the Norse off of our island, which I think is a good call. Uh, not far. We Okay, that just put us one more. My injured daughter. I was going to treat your daughter. I'm certain a simple treatment will suffice, but the choice is yours, my lord. Take that precaution. That'll be a treatment. Very simple. Safe treatment might lessen my pain. It's a little safe. Just a safe treatment. Nothing crazy. Do no more than what is necessary. And for her, let's find her a matrilineal and a solid inheritance here. A uh, solid... Uh, uh, thingies, traits. So she's 14. Let's look at 14 or older. So 15 here brings in Hale. Atso von Banden Bobenberg. Handsome at 22. Honestly, I think maybe him. Just just to kind of keep... I know it, this doesn't stack up, but just to keep either intelligence or genius in the bloodline, I think is pretty good. We could do Arthur McTalor, but there's six, the, six age, the, the four year age difference is kind of uh, detrimental. I think we go, I think we go with Otso here. All right, I apologize, guys, but I definitely have to pee again. <laughs> Give me one sec, but it's either Otso or Arthur, but uh, Arthur's good just to kind of keep that alliance going, which is cool, but I think uh, Otso might be better. The nice thing about having alliances is that anything that pushes into these guys from other vassals, we can help out with. So we can help kind of keep this duchy line in order. So what's it going to be, guys? Arthur or Otso? Just go ahead and say in chat. We'll take a look at it right when I come back. I'm going to get some water and...
Thank you for the donation. All right, get back at it. We got about another 10, 15 minutes. Let's do it. Oh man, I had to get water because every time Surreal Beliefs decides to message me on Discord, it just ju it just gives me oh Surreal Beliefs is here, guys. Hey, it's Surreal, guys. Everybody go check out Surreal Beliefs channel. It's really great. No, but seriously, go check out Surreal Beliefs channel and his new uh, Twitch. He's getting on the Twitch stream thing. He's been um, he's been encouraging me to get back into my costumes, and once I move, I definitely will. Let's take a look here. At what you guys said, Arthur, or for Arthur, just because he's closer and has an alliance. Helping him, man. 
Oh, then the five dollar donation too from Screw Beliefs. Look at him. I want to be alone. This is harassment. Don't touch me in my naughty spot anymore. We'll do that. Matrilineal marriage. Bring it into the fold. Arthur it is. Me? Getting sick? No. I'm not. I'm dealing with a lot of stress moving. And that is having a toll on me. But I'm fine. Eh, it's, only, it's only a four year age difference. DC. It should be fine. And it's just another another alliance of facils who cannot join me in a faction, which is nice. <clears throat> We're at the ripe age of 42, just uh, about the same age as Surreal Beliefs. 40-year-old curmudgeon. Um, what's up, Flash? How are you doing, man? How many viewers we got today? Guys, 107 views only. Oh, 90, 90 viewers, 90 likes. Never mind. We fixed that. It fixed itself. Good. I was going to say, make sure you guys like in the, the stream, but we're up to 100%. Okay, so let's do a oh, pause here. Elspeth can marry. Oh, I haven't found a. What is she? Okay, so she could be for alliances. Whoa, that, look at this coat of arms. That is sick. Alliance power here. Oh, he happens to be the strongest alliance. But Sutherland, no strong allies. So let's just go here for inheritable traits. Oh, we have inheritable on now. Go strong allies. France, we already have. Well, Throngria. Ooh, that could be really powerful. Because we'll have Aquitaine, France, and Lothrongria. I think we go with that. Yeah, I mean. I'm losing robust. It's going to go its own way. And she's 16 and the kid's 2. But to be totally honest, that's not my concern. It's just an alliance. I'm surprised he's, his army is inferior to mine since he's got a huge swath of land. He is only two, but again, uh, simmer player mine. It's not my concern because the kids are going to be born into that household, not mine. So I don't have to worry about it, and I'm going to be marrying into a possible king tile title. I have too many existing alliances. Minus 60, that's very interesting. She may, she may. He won't take. He definitely won't take matrilineal, because he's dear. So yeah, ma matrilineal minus one thousand. Shan't happen. Let's do it. Let's boost it. Daughter is not single. Single. So we now have both of the, uh, the Eastern, Ro or I'm sorry, the Holy Roman Empire kingdoms in alliance here. And we also have Aquitaine. So yeah, we have a lot of alliances now that I look at it. We have a lot of kids, man. It's got to happen. Like, who, who am I going to marry her to? Angus. That's actually not a bad call, though. Into the Sons of Angus. But I want Matrilineal for this one, because she's a genius. Oh, I could matrilineally take Prince Severi over here. Uh, I don't know why, Edie. Uh, it's because I don't want to have more than two duchy titles. Oh, yeah, I guess I could do it now. I mean, I could take him into my... Take him into my bed. What would be the benefit, though? I mean, I get no positive inheritable traits. So what would be the benefit of taking... A matrilineal marriage here. 
Does that help my my renown out at all or anything like that? No, we gave Rachel to Arthur, the Prince Charles of West Francia. I mean, we have so many kids here, dude. Piglet is betrothed. Ronald needs a wife. But I think we just go. I think does it does it increase renown though? Because this kid is a prince. He's not a king. And what's even what's like his line of succession? He's not even he's nowhere near a primary heir. Oh, he's like last in line. That might be worth it, worth it though. Basically, marry the 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 primary heir. Oh, the primary heir's old though, dude. He's he's ailing. His health is poor. <laughs> you're right, Andrew. You're right, man. I think maybe we do that. I could do this. But I don't know. So here's something I've never done. Here's something I've never done. So. If I marry. The heir's son. In a matrilineal marriage. Does that create a I'm, you know I'm, I'm on a, and does that create an alliance still because it's matrilineal no I'd probably do Shona because I want to keep genius in the line yeah I'll do Shona Shona can work We lose Robust, which is fine. Well, again, we're not losing it because it's matrilineal. He'll come to my court. But I don't know what happens with uh, alliances in this case. Well, this alliance will be created. Yes, Edie. But I'm talking about this is the primary heir, heir of West Francia. So if Prince Louis takes over for West Francia, do I then get a carryover alliance into West Francia because of their relationship? And mainly because I'm looking at matrilineal. Can I offer one though, DC? After the after, because I'm pretty sure you can. As long as the bond exists, okay. So you guys think that this is this is the good way then? We're kind of building that West Francia insulated uh, alliance in place? Because again, remember this guy is... He's poor. And he's got Iron Constitution and count, Council Cupbearer. Got a Medicine Focus. He's healthy and whole of body. But he's 70. Obese is not helping him out. So he possibly could die anytime soon. And if he does... There will definitely be a succession war. What it looks like. That is not a good succession. Okay, let's do that. We'll lose Robust, but I'm okay with it. And it's matrilineal, so we'll pull into the family, which is solid. Let's let those two go through real quick. 
Okay. That's right. We did Arthur. You guys are right. You guys are right. I was like, what do you mean we did Arthur? Lawrence can be whatever Lawrence wants to be. Lawrence can go be a painter. So, Renald here, though, I would like to find... Anyone with any kind of intelligence trait. So he's 10. Honestly, I, I this is kind of good here. I, it, it strengthens that alliance, which is, it is what it is, but we don't have any genius, geniuses. Intelligence is the next best thing. Genius eye. But yeah, I think this is the way to go. I mean, this is the first genius we get at 39. Now, join a garage band, buddy. Have at it. Become the Foo Fighters of, of, uh, of 913 AD. Yeah, I think this is good. That will bring all three of them together right here. That'll be all three of the traits. Again, keep that going. That's pretty much it. Duff is married. This kid is not yet. Uh, that kid's even married. Lawrence, Larry, you can do whatever you want, man, like I said. champion. My champion. Another Liberty War over here. This. Or the same thing. Yeah. Perfect. Oh! That's kind of crazy. Maybe it feels like I am. Oh, my mother died. That's why. All right, we'll do this. It'll drop us down. We'll be all right. Maybe a different kind of LOL. Time to go ride my horse. And I think we too need to go on a pilgrimage. You know. We can actually host a feast in April, which is really soon, and a hunt in June. don't know what to do. I mean, we could do this war and do a subjugation. Not a paragon of virtue. And he'll become my vassal, which I don't really want. What do we chip into, guys? What do we do? What are you thinking here? 
Host a feast. Reduce the stress. Right, dude, he better be an overachiever. Conquer Iceland. A good call. That's not a bad idea. But we need to get these... We need to try and get these... Six more... Things ASAP. And this is six. William! I gotta learn the game, man. I just got it. So I gotta learn it. We could go for Gwynedd. I could do that. They're in a war here. I could go for the Duchy of Gwynedd. The Principality, sorry. That's two. The Gwynedd would give me one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That's all we would need. So what's it going to be, guys? Do we do the subjugation? I don't want this territory, to be honest. But I think if anyone declared war over here, I would just give it to them. Because there's so much territory over here that is just going to be roiling for it that I don't want part in those conflicts. Um, or do we do Gwynedd? Both will give us the six we need. This is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Difflin's going to get pulled out of this, of this subjugation because of the war that's going on right now. Do, do we do... Uh, Wellswig? Sleswig? Or do you do Gwynedd? What do you guys think? Gwynedd is six. Because it seems to be... Oh, no, it's 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 five. You're right. I thought that this was two different ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Wales? You guys think Wales? Yeah, we can do whales and, and, and diffid. All those lonely sheep. You guys are you guys are so terrible. Conquer the Duchy of Wales. Diffid is its own thing. We would two prong it. Wow, they actually have quite a little force there. Is this ally? Spoleto. I should end the stream, but I want to start this. This will be a, a quick conquest, as it were, as we roll deep into the lands. Dennis or Denise? You can help with this whole Pam Pam situation. A cheery gathering! Uh oh. Not the best time to start a war. Whoa! Queen Cornelia? Of Jerusalem? How is she doing, by the way, down here? Holding strong, considerably, all things considered. Um, and let's call. Let's call Aquitaine, right? Aquitaine, Lothrongia, they're not in any wars.
Actually, let's call let's call West Frankia. Let's let's test their resolve. We don't really need it, do we? No, we don't at all. Never mind. We won't do it. We'll keep we'll keep we'll hold on to the prestige. We'll use it for Upland, who who's got half of our size. They're probably gonna push all the way up to Edinburgh. Ah, uh, what would life be about without Justin? Reinvigorating friendship. Okay, yeah, so they're gonna go all the way up there. So Difflin is now gone. Dillon. Whoa, what the hell's going on? I did everything I could, ensuring Earl Gila Blan, Lord and Lord Berthwald, be as far from each other as possible. I don't know. Now they have come to blows. In the middle of my feast, one of my guards is close to the brawl and looks to me for the order. Are you the you're my new Welsh guy, aren't you? You definitely are. I just not have a rivalry, guys. So what does this mean if, I, if I'm a friend with this guy? You grow closer to forming a rivalry with Lord Berthwald. I mean, I would, I would take the sign of my friend, so... Oops, I did not just take the sign of my friend. That's my bad. Whoopsies. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's do this. You can come up here. Orange oh, recently disembarked, huh? Well, allow me to capitalize on that. Until next time, get to create Eager Reveler. And now, switch to me. The beater of worlds to come crash down on whales over here. Uh, this can be... Actually, you know what? They should be seizures. Reorganize. Black like this army. Go we'll meet up. This army, you will swap to this guy. Clifford! 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 This is just the chiefdom. Weird, man. Oh, they're trying to beat back the, the Irish uprising to get more lands. What? Applebee's? That will teach you, Mormer! You never go to Applebee's on a Wednesday. Fool of a took. Well, that ends that war, I believe. Yep. Liberty War. Lord Cadell. Well, oh. definitely squash that guy out. The duelist of Marinot. Oh, th that's these guys? I thought this was one of the lands over here. Oh, damn. You tricky bastard. You've retreated into my hills? How dare you. Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay, okay. Well, eight things happened. Prisoner taking the siege. Okay. Right. Fine, master. Better show us. Education. Perfect. Head back over here to prisoners. Anyone in the dungeon? You are in the dungeon. You. Who are you? A Welsh Catholic. Son of Prince Anwar. None of you are worth ransoming. But she is insular, and she is of my everything. We'll get a wee cook. I'm not going to do anything with her. She's just going to stay in the dungeon, what it looks like. We'll get a house to rest for the meantime. Princess Garbage of Gwynedd. Mmm. You could hotshot, it's just really, it's kind of tedious, man, after a certain point. Yeah, it just, it does this. So, empty council. See, this is all full. It's just a bug. Okay, um... She could be good to recruit because then I get the, the claims on Aquitaine. I just didn't want... Whatever, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. This is the... This is the, uh... Prince. Gord Cadway. We got plenty of soldiers. Just want to get up here though, so this army's not alone. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's kind of annoying, right? Nordland. Yorth Yorthland. Okay, alright. War for Gwynedd will be completed. Oh, no, 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 my inner daughter. How is gonna treat me your daughter? I'm certain a simple treatment will suffice. Why is she getting so beat up? Who is wounding her, man? No more than what is necessary, bud. Kinda of scary though. I don't want to make him lead it. I'm, well, I'll do it. I'm afraid to, but we'll see what happens. Oh, well, I think we won that one. That's a good question. Is she a flagellant? No, she's not. Maybe she's like a hidden. Finally won that. That's part of Gwynedd now. Which is actually better for me, to be totally honest. It makes expanding over there pretty easy. That's okay. I, I don't need his claim. Okay. 
Let's have that help, because that's a level whatever for it. Dangerous faction, huh? Right down here, that's okay. That's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Fine. Yeah, she was already beaten up before that, but it's just kind of weird. Alright, perfect. Oh, we got the sun! Alright. So, who is your primary heir, boy? We don't have the primary error. Uh, is, is one of these giving us? It is. It's just a captured error. Okay. And it's this guy right here. Ten. Fifty. Who are you? Ransom this one. It's a primary error. Of not the ruler, so it's fine. I'm sure yours is much more substantial. Yeah, yours is only 25. Pfft. Liege there, okay. Ransom him. Ransom himself. Alrighty, and Bruce, have a good one, man. This is, uh, we're about to kind of end the stream here, too, so you're on, you have good timing. Ransom himself. Ransom himself. That's nice. That's a that's a mercenary and captain. <laughs> Kill so many people and capture uh, air like, oh god. <laughs> Just give me your favor, because you're about to become one of my vassals. Ransom him. Let me get that last one. Oh, there we go. We will force these demands. Okay. And all. There we go, Gwynedd. Empire title then. <clears throat> Perfect. We're one away. That is going to be the end of this episode. And what we'll do tomorrow... Uh, oof, it depends. So I'm going to be moving over the next week. So hopefully I can stream again on Saturday or Sunday. And what we'll do is by doing that, <clears throat> we'll start up the... We'll, we'll create... and We'll open up the stream with creating the empire basically and we'll do a history time so it'll be kind of a two-part really fun little ditty there um but guys thank you so much for watching here today i have quite a lot of uh time ahead of me i'm doing some fun stuff here um development i want that i want that efficacy and we'll save here <coughs> excuse me Whew. thanks guys shouldn't be too bad Let's go ahead and give some thanks out here. We did get some uh, donations here today. Uh, we got the five dollars from Gabriel Court, the five bucks from Big Daddy Surreal Beliefs, and the one euro from Cole. And then we also got one direct payment, one from Ice Cream Birdie, a ten dollar donation. So thank you very, very much, guys. It will be very, very needed in in this move. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh my God, the allergies. Oh, my eyes. Oh. Oh. Thank you very much, Tezza. I have cat and like seasonal allergies, so I'm I'm like one two punched right now. Alright guys, I gotta get work to work on some stuff. But we'll be back here with some more Crusader Kings with some more fun videos that I've got planned in the coming days and weeks, as always. 
But thank you so much for watching here today. Don't forget to wash your hands, stay safe, take care, and we'll see you probably in a couple days. I don't want to say Thursday because I, sh I don't think I'll be near done by then, uh, but more than likely Saturday or Sunday. But as always, again, have a good one and take care, guys. Later, Andrew. Later, A. Burke. DC, have a good one and thank you for the bless you. Simmer player, thank you very much, man. Thomas Gideon, have a good one, brother. Farewell, bastard of the century. Fernando, have a good one, brother. I'm sorry, just JP. Just JP, just as I'm closing it down. Alright, guys. Later, later, Tom. But have a good one. Take care.